Uh, Record-breaking temperatures across the United States are set to affect nearly 110 million Americans this week. The most extreme Arctic blasts caused by a spinning pool of cold air known as the polar vortex could bring temperatures as low as minus 50 degree, 53 degrees Celsius. Sky's Adele Robinson has the latest. As the deep freeze sets in across the US, extreme Arctic blasts have brought temperatures as low as 50 degrees Celsius. In Chicago, the river's frozen over. A city that's expected to be colder than Antarctica. Even the zoos are closed as workers clear away ice to keep waterways open for wildlife. As soon as the wind blows a little bit, it's shockingly cold. Uh, whereas right now my ears might be a nice scarlet red. They actually don't feel like anything. <laughs> so it's pretty cold. For birds that perch, obviously their feet aren't feathered. Uh, noses and pads of feet for carnivores. So there are definitely areas that we uh, are still concerned about, even in the most hardy of animals. All this the result of a so-called polar vortex, an expanse of swirling cold air hitting mainly Midwestern states. A state of emergency has been declared in some. Earlier this week, police pulled a man from Lake Michigan after he jumped into freezing waters to save his dog. And with officials warning frostbites possible within just 10 minutes of being outside, authorities are doing all they can to keep transport running. These switch heaters are there to keep the switches warm, to keep them from freezing up. They can't necessarily dissolve a chunk of ice that drops from a train into a switch, but then that's why we have the people out there to respond to that. But they can keep them functioning, keep them flowing, so we can keep the traffic flowing through that area. As emergency workers continue to tackle chaotic and icy scenes, an estimated 55 million people will experience record-breaking sub-zero temperatures across the US in the next 24 hours. Adele Robinson, Sky News. People across large areas of the United States have been warned of a once-in-a-generation blast of Arctic air due to hit much of the country over the next few days. It's caused by a spinning pool of cold air known as the polar vortex, and it could bring temperatures as low as minus 53 degrees Celsius. It's thought at least 55 million people will experience sub-zero temperatures, and it's affecting the Midwest region as well as the usually milder southern states of Alabama and Mississippi. People in Iowa have been told to avoid taking deep breaths and to minimise talking if they go outside. Richard Galpin reports. The big freeze has hit more than 10 states so far. Temperatures plummeting to minus 27 degrees Celsius in the Midwest and expected to get even colder today. Driving on the roads has become extremely hazardous. I about just got caught in a giant wreck. Several people have already been killed. Holy f cars are cars are into other pickups. There's, there's people hurt. For those caught out in what's been described as a once in a generation weather event, there are many other dangers. Frostbite setting in within ten minutes. If you don't need to be outside at this time, don't go outside. The temperatures today are not uh, to be taken lightly. These are actually a public health risk. In some areas, people who have ventured out have been told by the authorities not to take deep breaths and to minimize talking. Breathing in extremely cold air can cause medical problems. So what's brought about this dramatic fall in the temperature? Well, essentially, Arctic air has broken away from the very far north and drifted far south into the Midwest with temperatures down to minus 30 degrees at night. On top of that, there's a wind. The wind chills are down to minus 50, which is incredibly dangerous. Frostbite in minutes. While some children were still going to school yesterday, in Chicago, 360,000 students have now been told to stay at home. And to keep the trains running, railway staff have been setting fire to the tracks to stop the metal contracting. But this extreme cold weather could soon come to an abrupt end. 
Forecasters are predicting a massive swing in temperature, with Chicago enjoying a comparative warmth of plus 10 degrees Celsius by the weekend. Richard Galpin, BBC News.